This is the Climber's Guide to Schist. And schist is a metapelite, so it started off as a mudstone, just like slate, but it's gone to slightly higher pressures and temperatures. So slate was buried to maybe a few kilometres, whereas schist is maybe 10 to 15 kilometres depth. And so that means all the crystals are growing much larger. So the micas are much larger and they take this characteristic wavy uh, growth form and that's what gives schist its slightly wavy foliation. So it doesn't cleave like slate. The other thing that happens when you go to higher greater depths and high pressures and temperatures, new minerals start to grow as well. So you get garnets. So here at Wien, uh, this is actually a garnet mica schist, and so there are very nice garnets. They tend to weather proud and produce actually quite good friction here, although you wouldn't know it today, it's a little bit damp. And schist can also develop quite large segregations of quartz, which all adds to the character of the rock and the climbing. And so schist, because it has this variable chemistry, and variable mineralogy and also this foliation that runs through it, it can have really quite varied character for climbing. Here the foliation is pretty much at right angles to the cliff and so you get relatively compact faces with little bits where the, the schist is breaking out and kind of edgy fingers and things. If it was uh, running down the uh, cliff face coming out of the cliff slope then it would be a lot more uh, slopers and friction climbing and often when it's dipping up into you get really nice big jugs uh, and and climbing which is quite quite burly but a bit juggy so schist produces a wide range of climbing styles because of the interaction of this uh, foliation with the angle of the cliff face as well